Hi, boys and girls. We're going to have a lot of fun with music today. So things that you're going to need is you're going to need some plates, you're going to need your rhythm sticks, and you might need your scarf, but we'll see. For now, get your rhythm sticks out because that's what we're going to start with today. And if you don't have your rhythm sticks at home, you can go ahead and use a couple of pencils or pens. You can go to the kitchen and maybe find some wooden spoons to use. Anything like that will work. Or if all else fails, you can use your fingers. Have fun today, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, in our Valentine's Day percussion pluck along, anytime you see a heart, that's like your ta, and you're gonna tap your rhythm sticks one time. When you see candy, you're gonna tap it two times, and a rest, do nothing. Get ready. One, here we go. Two, ready, go. Candy heart, candy heart. All right, everybody, up on your feet. We're gonna do some dancing to a Valentine's Day body percussion. Get your clapping hands ready and you'll be able to move along with the elephants and the donkeys and everything else that you see. And then make sure to follow along with the rhythm.
rhythms, you will see the quarter note equals heart, the eighth notes equal cupid, the quarter rest equals shh, and the half note equals love. Are you ready? One, two, one, two, ready, go! I'm in school, so I have to wear my mask while I'm in school, even if there's nobody else in the room. So today we're continuing our work on rondo form. Rondo form is A, B, A, C, A, B, A, and then sometimes there's a coda, which there is in today's song. Today's song is Dancing on the Rooftops. So let's go through what we're going to do for our plate and for what we do in each section. So we're going to start with the A. 
The rhythmic pattern is I'm dancing on the rooftop, rooftop, rooftop. While you do that, you're gonna pat first and then we're gonna do some flapping with our plate. So it's gonna be, I'm dancing on the rooftop, rooftop, rooftop. So it's right, left, then both, okay? Then dancing in my sneakers, heel and toe, dancing in my sneakers. Then you're gonna tap your heel behind you, bring that foot around and tap the toe. So it's dancing in my sneakers, heel and toe. Then we go swinging in the treetop, treetop, treetop. I'm swinging in the treetop, treetop, treetop. Hanging by my shoestrings, watch me go. Same thing, hanging by my shoestrings, and this is where it changes, watch me go. So it swipes for the ending of that. Let's try the whole A section all together. I'm dancing on the rooftop, rooftop, rooftop. Dancing in my sneakers, heel and toe. I'm swinging in the treetops, treetops, treetops. Hanging by my sneakers, watch me go. Got that? Remember, it moves a lot faster when we're actually doing it with the song. In our B section, which repeats two times in our song, we have the weather's fine on old cloud nine. While we do that, you're gonna start here on one side of your body, and it doesn't matter which side. The weather's fine on old cloud nine. You're gonna come around over the top of your head, clapping your plates as you go, up, go over. And then you're gonna come around um, all the birds are dancing too. So you're gonna come around your body with your clapping motion. So the weather's fine on old cloud nine, all the birds are dancing too. Okay, you bring it around the front of your body. You're gonna keep going, but I won't come down onto the ground. You're gonna stop it over the top of your head and then you're gonna come down till I find my parachute. You're gonna wave your hands till I find my parachute. So you're gonna bring your plates, waving them coming down. All right, so that's our B section. Let's do the entire B section all together. The weather's fine on old cloud nine. All the birds are dancing too. Won't come down onto the ground till I find my parachute. All right, so you keep waving it all the way through. Then you go back and you do the A section again. We won't go through it again here because you just can practice it on your own. Our C section is what's called scatting because this is a swing song. So we're gonna learn a little bit about scatting when we're in class, but for now, let's just learn the motions for our, our um, plates. So the first part is shoo bop, dooby dooby doo bop. All right, so shoo bop, dooby dooby doo bop. And what you're gonna do is shoo bop, okay? And then you're gonna alternate your patting on your legs. So shoo bop, dooby dooby doo bop and you're gonna pat on each of the syllables and it's syncopated. Dooby dooby doo bop, all right? Then we do shooby doo 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 doo, all right? And what you're gonna do here is it's gonna be a scissor motion back and forth, all right? Now in between each of these scats is what's called an echo. So you're gonna hear an instrument that's echoing that same rhythmic pattern that's being sung. In class, we're gonna have two different groups of students doing that. So one student will do the singing part and some students will do the echo part and we'll flip back and forth between who gets to do that. The next part is our wah, 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 wah. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your hands up and you're gonna flap them forward. Wah, 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 just like that. That's the really easy part. And then the yeah, 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 that's a really nasal sound. It's gonna be this on four beats, all right? So we call that a shimmy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's what we do. Let's do that first section of C all together. Shoo bop, dooby dooby doo bop. And then we go on to our shooby dooby dooby. That's a scissor. Shooby dooby dooby. Two, two, and two. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Ooh, ma, you're gonna come with a crash down. Ooh, mama, so it's down and then up. And then we do the blah, 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 blah. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna swipe, 
swipe on each one, bringing your hands out each time, okay? Do, Ricky, do, Ricky, do. Do, Ricky, do, Ricky, do, Ricky, do. Okay? Do, Ricky, do, Ricky, do, Ricky, do. And then, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. You're going to bring your hands up. Ooh, wah, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. And you're going to bring them down all the way, waving, doing a waving pattern back and forth. That's our C section. Then we go back and we do A, B, and A again. And then for the ending, that coda is just that watch me go, um, hanging by my shoestrings, watch me, hanging by my shoestrings, watch me go, straight up and down. Hanging by my shoestrings, watch me go. Hanging by my shoestrings, watch me go. And then for the last yeah, you're just gonna do a shimmy, yeah. All right, boys and girls, let's see if we can try it with the music. Now make sure that you follow along with the body motions that we're doing because we're doing this in school as well. Here we go. Oh, my aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. Oh, my aunt came back from old Japan. She brought with her a waving fan. Oh, my aunt came back from old Algiers. She brought with her a pair of shears. 
Oh, my aunt came back from Guadalupe. She brought with her a hula hoop. Oh, my aunt came back from the county fair. She brought with her a rocking chair. Oh, my aunt came back from the city zoo. She brought with her a nut like you. Have fun, boys and girls. Oh, pity the prodigy, Farkle McBride. No matter what instrument poor Farkle tried, whether strumming or blowing or drumming or bowing, his musical passions were unsatisfied. When Farkle McBride was a three-year-old tyke, all freckly, bony, and thin, he astonished his friends and his family alike by playing superb violin. He went... And the rest of the fiddles went... The violas went... The cellos went... The bass viols went... And finally the harp went... At last, all the strings went. And as fiddling Farkle continued to play, he heard a small voice that would not go away. Play on, play on, play on, the voice cried. Play on with persistence and passion and pride. Play on from your heart, and the rest will take part. Play on, you remarkable, Arkle McBride. Play on, you remarkable, Arkle McBride. But when he was four, Farkle played it no more, in spite of his parents beseeching. He shattered the records he used to adore. He smashed up his rosin, ripped up every score. He threw fiddle and bow to the living room floor as he shouted, Enough of your screeching! When Farkle was five, his melodical gift once again bore rhapsodical fruit. The woodwinds inspired his spirits to lift, and he rapidly mastered the flute. He went... And the other flutes went... The oboe went. The clarinet went. The bassoon went. And finally the piccolo went. At last all the woodwinds went.
His father was thrilled, his mother elated, and inside his head the voice sang, unabated. Play on, play on, play on, the voice cried. Play on with persistence and passion and pride. Play on from your heart, and the rest will take part. Play on, you remarkable, Farkle McBride. Play on, you remarkable, Farkle McBride. But at six, Farkle flung the flute into the lake, notwithstanding its lyrical drill. He stamped on the dock till you'd think it would break. That's it, he exclaimed. I've had all I can take. That tootling gives me a brutal headache. It's so wimpy and whiny and shrill. When Farkle was seven, a different sound rekindled his musical flame. He became the most expert trombonist around, and the boulevards buzzed with his name. He went. And the other trombones went. The trumpets went. The French horns went. Finally, the tuba went. At last, all the brass went. Cavalcade had a beautiful ring, and the voice inside Farkle continued to sing. Play on, play on, play on, the voice cried. Play on with persistence and passion and pride. Play on from your heart, and the rest will take part. Play on, you remarkable Farkle McBride. Play on, you remarkable Farkle McBride. But at eight, he declared to his parents' despair, and as everyone else might have guessed, I can't stand the trombone with its laugh and its blare. That racket is more than my eardrums can bear. So return it or throw it away, I don't care. I despise it just like all the rest. When Farkle was nine, both his father and mum were bursting with pride and affection. For Farkle learned xylophone, cymbals, and drum, the entire percussionist section. He went. The snare drum went. Bass drum went. The kettle drums went. The cymbals went. And finally, the triangle went. At last, all the percussions went. As 
as he wielded his tambourine, drumsticks and hammer, the little voice called him above all the clamor. Play on, play on, play on, the voice cried. Play on with persistence and passion and pride. Play on from your heart, and the rest will take part. Play on, you remarkable Farkle McBride. Play on, you remarkable Farkle McBride. But soon Farkle fell prey to his usual gloom, despite all the praise and the flattery. First a sigh, then a sulk, then a frown, then a fume, then an ear-splitting tantrum that emptied the room. I can't stand it, he bellowed, the crash and the boom, and the clang and the bang of the battery. Poor Farkle at ten, howsoever renowned, reached the end of his musical tether. But then he discovered his favorite sound, musicians all playing together. It happened like this. The conductor caught cold on the day of a major recital. You've got to replace him, young Farkle was told. Your cooperation is vital. So he took the baton and he gave the downbeat. And kaboom! The foundations were shaken by glorious music, bombastic and sweet that filled up the hall and spilled into the street. Music that brought the whole crowd to its feet from the instruments he had forsaken. They went. They went. drew to an end, the voice sang a different song to its friend. Lead on, lead on, lead on, the voice cried. Lead on with persistence and passion and pride. Lead on from your heart, and the rest will take part. Lead on, you remarkable Farkle McBride. Lead on, you remarkable Farkle McBride. Since that sparkling night, Maestro Farkle McBride conducts all the instruments he ever tried. His happy heart sings to brass, drums, winds, and strings, and remarkable Farkles at last. 
satisfied. Thank you.